Hey guys, what's going on? I just want to do a quick update on Bitcoin as it's crashing right now and you're probably wondering what's going on. So um, I put out a Bitcoin video a couple days ago. I'll just give you, I'll, I'll go over the weekly time frame and just give you a, a recap of the macro situation. Basically, obviously we had this massive um, falling wedge. You know, it doesn't look like a bullish pattern, but basically like when you break out of the falling wedge, it's quite bullish and they more often than not will break to the upside versus the downside. Now, uh, breaking out of this, we formed the uh, the opposite. We formed a rising wedge, and this is a bearish chart formation. And we're just now breaking down out of this rising wedge. Now, you know you can you can use these patterns to project uh, breakout targets. So basically, you would just like mark the distance between the uh, top and the bottom, the widest part of the wedge, project it from the breakout point. But uh, I don't always do that because a lot of the time the patterns don't reach their target. As in this case, this one did not reach the target to the upside yet, right? And so, uh, likewise, I'm not going to project the bottom to the top and, you know, project it from this breakout point because that'll take us all the way pretty much back down here. So, but off, oftentimes these, uh, these you know, targets uh, based on a pattern, they don't hit, right? So instead, I just use basic support and resistance and Fibonacci levels to try to get an idea of where the price is going to go. Okay, so I know this might not look very clear because I have so many lines on here. It's just because I'm actively trading it, right? So um, I'm going to go back down to the daily time frame. And what you can see right now is we've broken down. Uh, the other day I mentioned that, you know, if we had a daily candle close below this upsloping level of uh, support. So as you can see, the lower line of this uh, rising wedge support it was support here, here, here. And then we were kind of trying to defend it right here. But yeah, it broke down daily close below both the 38.2 and this upsloping level of support. As soon as that happened, I kind of had a feeling we were in trouble and now we're dumping back down. Now, I drew out uh, potential target levels, right? So the first level was this 50% retracement and I'll, I shall delete this and I'll just show you how I got that. So take a Fibonacci retracement and run it from the swing low right here up to the swing high. And uh, that'll give you these projection levels. And for a very, very long time, for you know about three weeks or so, we were holding this 38.2 level right, right here. So as you can see, like sometimes the, the price would come below it, but by the time the candle closed, the body would close back up above it, right? So this was kind of like the um, the line in the sand for me, right? So the 38.2, even if this uh, upward upsloping level of support broke, I figured like, you know, if we can just maintain this, there's still hope, right? But no, we, we broke the 38.2 now. The next level down was the 50%. And this 50% Fibonacci retracement level lines up perfectly with just the price action, right? So you see here, this level was support, right and it was resistance right here and you know we had a lot of confluence at this level so i figured you know there's a good chance of this holding and us getting a bounce now as you can see right now this candle has broken below it but this candle also has not closed yet right so this could potentially end up looking like this right we don't know so pay close attention to how this candle closes right i want to see the candle closes in about three three hours and 15 minutes, it closes at 8 p.m. Eastern time, right? So, you know, there's a chance that buyers will step in and defend this level. Right now, it looks really bad. But if this this daily candle closes below this 38, sorry, below this 50% retracement level and below this uh, previous high right here, uh, that's a very bad sign. I'm going to take this down to the smaller time frame and just see if we've, get it, if we've got any price action around, around this level. Okay, so you see we shot right through it. Uh, we came back up to try to test it and it served as a resistance level and now it's selling off again. Looks pretty weak, guys. Uh, not going to lie. It's not ideal. But yeah, we have basically yeah, a few hours left to see how this daily candle closes. But yeah, if the daily candle closed looking like this, <laughs> it's not ideal. Um, and now, unfortunately, basically, we just created a lot of resistance for itself, right? So as you know, a former level of support will serve as a resistance on the way up. Now, this 50%, since we broke through it, is going to be the first level of resistance now, right? Uh, and then once we break this, then this level here, this 38.2, given how it was support for a very long time here, it's going to be a level of resistance again. And of course, uh, this upsloping level of what was once support is also going to be a resistance. And on top of that, we have this diagonal line uh, resistance right here. So we have a lot of resistance overhead now after breaking this, right? So yeah, this is quite unfortunate. Um, if the daily candle closes uh, below this 50%, the next level down I would look to would be this golden pocket range. And that also lines up with the price action right here. You see it was support right here. It was uh, resistance right here, resistance right here. So this level right here, um, I have it at around 27,260. And consider it a range between 
27,260 and down to 27,062. This box, this range would be the next support level down if we close the daily candle below this. And then, you know, it's possible that we get a daily candle close below here, but maybe it comes up and retest this uh, 50%. But if it gets rejected, the next level down is going to be this range, right? Uh, but hopefully I want this level to recover. It's still not lost yet. Buyers can step in within the next few hours and salvage this candle. Again, what we want to see is basically the candle look like something like this. We want this, this area here to just end up like a wick and the body to close above here. Okay, now if this 60, uh, this golden pocket range breaks, this uh, 61.8, then uh, next level down is going to be uh, 78.6. But um, I, would, I would suspect that if this golden pocket range uh, breaks, we're probably going to come all the way back down. And the level that I would um, look to then, and it's pretty important that this level holds, very important this level holds, would be right here. So you can take a horizontal trend line, um, just paste it right here at the top of these uh, candle bodies where these two candle bodies intersect. And that lines up, that's around, I would say uh, around 24,287, around the 24,000 range. Um, this level, really, I really hope this level holds because if it doesn't, then we're probably going to come all the way back down and test the lows, okay? So yeah, 24,000 range, I really hope that holds, very critical level. But yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, let's just watch how this daily candle closes. Looks weak. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we get some, you know, some some bulls come in and, and defend this region, right? Otherwise, it doesn't look good. Now, what's interesting is, you know, this is a pretty pretty brutal Bitcoin crash, but the altcoin market is not really tanking worse than Bitcoin is. It's kind of on par, or even slightly stronger, right? For a lot of the coins. Um, I'll just give you. I'm going to do a separate video, but I'll just give you a quick uh, quick look at what um, Bitcoin Cash is doing here. So Bitcoin Cash, as you can see, it's still it's still within this channel. Um, in my last Bitcoin Cash analysis, I was basically saying that I, I do expect the price to come back down into this range. We're at the 38.2 Fib retracement. We're still on the bull flag and we're at the lower level of this range, right? So, you know, as, as crazy as it sounds, this is actually a buying opportunity for Bitcoin Cash because it enables you to uh, place a tight stop loss below this lower uh, trend line, right? And you can target the upper region of this channel, which is basically the, the bull flag formation, right? Um, the upper targets are, I, I, no, anyway, I'll do a separate video on Bitcoin Cash later on to, to give you a breakdown on that. But anyway, back to Bitcoin. Uh, just to sum it up, it looks bad. Uh, watch this level, this 50% level. Um, it's around it's around 28,000, 28,080 or so. So let's see how the uh, daily candle closes in, in about uh, three hours. Doesn't look good. You know, maybe it's going to dump all the way down here to the 61.8, then get a bounce. But anyway, we'll see. Uh, that about wraps it up. Just a quick update. Um, and if you're not subscribed and you want to get these updates right away, just click subscribe, click the bell, and then click on all. And that way, uh, YouTube will actually let you know when I release these videos. I'm going to do about two or three videos every single day. And uh, I'm also going to put a link to the exchange that I'm using. Um, a really good exchange, in my opinion. Um, great interface, a lot of, lot of assets you can trade on there. It allows me to use a little bit of leverage to amplify my position size so I don't have to keep a lot of, uh, a lot of coins on the exchange, which I don't like doing. I'd rather keep my, my coins safe on my ledger. And uh, the best thing about it is there's no KYC, so they don't require you to submit any personal documentation to create an account and trade, right? Um, you may need a VPN to use it, so I'll also put a link to a VPN in the pinned comment and the description as well. All right, guys, just a quick update. Hopefully that helped. Take care. Bye.